Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I haven't posted in about a month. I haven't posted at all in August. Um, had very good reason to. I had some um, devastating, um, shocking news. I didn't. I don't want to speak to. I, I'm not ready to talk about it on on this channel. Um, if you want to know any further information, just go to my Instagram. I've just made it um, public again. So you can uh, freely find all the information there if you would like. Um, maybe one day I will talk, go into it. I know people are more interested in my personal life than necessarily my reading life on this channel. And I've always said this is a, as much of a lifestyle blog as it is a, a book blog. Um, but I tried making a video um, and I just didn't. It just didn't feel right, so um, I just want to let you know, I want to know that I, I, yeah, I've, I've been feeling pretty sad. Um, but BookTube has been helping a lot, um, and especially the book haul videos. I've been really watching a lot of book haul videos, so I have a book haul video for you today. Um, uh, and this was definitely retail therapy for sure. Um, and then I've, you know, a couple of little free libraries too. So, uh, without much further ado, I will get into the books. Um, so the first one is Victor Canning. Uh, was this the Rainbird, the Rainbird pattern? So I'm kind of obsessed with these like photographic pan covers that they, the, the wild ones are really from the 1970s, but I think they continue them into the 1980s too. Um, so I basically pick up any that I see, because this is, what is going on here? They're wearing these weird, I thought they were pig masks at first, but I don't even know. They're just weird masks. They're wearing trench coats and they have guns. And apparently this is like kind of a kidnap thriller, political... Um, I've re I think I've read a Victor Kenning before, and he's pretty enjoyable and and, and quite lauded. Um, so this should be a good read anyway. But this I this is a cover by for sure. It's wild. I don't know what anyone was thinking when they made that. Um, this one's a double. Um, Pulp Morton. If you ever, if you. If you like this channel, go check out Pulp Morton. Um, great, um, pretty much specializes in sci-fi, but trashy sci-fi. Um, they're they're always talking about. They have their list, and um, if they ever forget their list, then they'll end up buying a double. I don't have a list. <laughs> I I really need to get a list because this is yet another double a murder is announced. Um, so I got this in a a huge book haul that I a huge um lot from ebay that i bought from agatha christie um right after um, i signed up or <laughs> right after i thought um committing to reading the entire work so a particular author was a great idea from mainly inspired by michael k Warren. um so i bought that and this was in it and i didn't realize and i bought it again just in case and it was a double but um i will probably just sell that on ebay so Oh, spine just cracked. Oh, it's pretty ropey copy, so I think I'll check what the other one's like. Um, maybe, maybe sell it for a couple of dollars on eBay. I won't, I won't charge too much. Um, this one is oh, so I went to a charity shop that was like fifty cents. I there was a it was a best time to go. They're trying to get rid of a bunch of books. The whole thing was like fifty cents each, or two for a dollar or whatever. Um, I spent, I got seven books for five dollars, it was pretty amazing. This was one, this is um, Harlequin Intrigue, so it's a category of moments. Um, I think Sarah, I think Sarah Phelan now I guess is the name of the channel, but previously the bookish knitter. Um, I, I think she's really much into Harlequin Intrigue, and uh, I think Criminali reads a fair few of these. This one sounded like a great premise though, sorry, the book is Ambushed. I guess Ambushed is the series, and McCall's Montana is the name of the book. I don't know, actually. That's actually very confusing. What's the faceplate for? Oh, so Ambushed is the... Okay, so Ambushed is the name of... 
<laughs> Ambushed is the name of the book, and I think McCall's Montana is the name of the sub-series. Very confused. Sometimes this can be very confusing. Yeah, anyway, um, the the premise is wild. Um, so, despite his previously unblemished reputation for years, Cowboy Sheriff Cash McCall had been the prime suspect in his fiancée's disappearance presumed murder. So when a woman claiming to be her sh showed up in his office, Cash was finally off the hook even though his instincts told him he'd never before held this woman in his arms. Posing as a missing woman, it seemed like a good idea to be to on the run Molly Kilpatrick. Unfortunately, she made the mistake of sealing the wrong identity. Someone wanted a woman dead and st would stop at nothing to make sure. This time, she stayed dead. Molly needed Cash's protection and had to trust in his innocence, but if she was wrong, she'd be dead wrong. That just sounds wild. <laughs> so... I have no idea where this is going to go, and I'm actually quite excited to read that. I'm I'm sure one of two things is going to happen, um, but I'm not quite sure which. And I've, I've heard of BJ Daniels, so I'm pretty sure they're a big name in the uh, the Intrigue series, which is um, basically crime meets romance. So, probably not that much different to um, old, old crime novels, because uh, I've heard... A first bit of old crime novels have a, a bit of a romance angle. There's always people falling in love and getting married after it's just mean. Um, in those books, anyway. Um, this was an interesting one. I'd never heard of the author. Um, it's Del Rey book. Which is um, always something to worth buying. Is it? Yeah, Del Rey is a... Um, a subset of the Ballantine, and Ballantines are always great to buy too. Um, so it's John Blair, um, a land. Sorry, I can't read backwards today. I don't know. I usually can. A landscape of darkness. Um, so I looked it up, and it and it, well, I read the premise, and it looked very much like sounded very much like military sci-fi. Um, not a not a not a subgenre I really read at all. I don't think I've ever read a military sci-fi book um or maybe maybe i've read highland maybe i've read maybe you could classify a couple of the highlands as military sci-fi um but very little very little I, I tend to just read uh other types of sci-fi um and not that much sci-fi uh, as it is um so it, this was 1990 i looked up the author at pierce he only really wrote two fiction books um, so yeah, interesting to see, uh, what it is and why the author didn't continue. Um, yeah, the premise wasn't in super interesting, I think, but I thought that one was at least, it was worth, worth the purchase of 50 cents. Um, I got another Mac Bowl. I don't think this one's a double. I I don't know if I've checked. It's a late. It's a pretty late one. Probably. I think a lot of them, the same person probably gave up a lot of these books because they're all from the nineties. Um. Yeah, nineteen ninety four. Gold Eagle. And actually, uh, I think worldwide we're publishing Gold Eagle books in the nineties. At that point, who? But uh, the most important thing with these ones is um, post Don Pendleton. So anything that's anything that's in Gold Eagle is post Don Pendleton because he only wrote in under Pinnacle. Um, he specifically in his contract when he saw them, he had to, he said the author that actually wrote the book needed to be named somewhere. It's never on the front cover, but it is just inside on the trademark page. So this one was written by Mike Newton. Never heard of Mike Newton. Um, but I'd be interested. Um, this, what this is going to be like, this is number 373 in the Matt Bowen, so I have a fair ways to go. But um, I think once I'm done with the Don Pendleton the, the ones, I might not necessarily read in order. I might just pick and choose. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. Um... 
I got a, I got a ton of them though. It's gonna be a long time. Um, now the one this is Canadian. Um, this is L R A Mother Love. Great cover. I love this cover. Um, I have another L R A or another at least maybe another two L R A books that I've not read. Um, but they're Canadian, so I always just buy them. Oh, this came out on Seal, which I think is a subsidiary of Bantam. That looks like the Bantam. Oh no, Seal book is published in arrangement with Doubleday. Uh, Doubleday edition was published in 95, this edition was published in 1996. So I guess this is just the cheap mass market edition of the, uh, the original Doubleday book. Uh, yeah, RCMP. I think these are set in, um, I think these are set in, uh, BC, if I'm correct. Uh, it's a Carl Oliver mystery. Yeah, so I'll definitely have to check out LRA soon. Um, this one, fantasy. I don't read fantasy, but I'm kind of trying to get a little bit into fantasy this year and probably will be more so next week. Um, this is, uh, what is it? Porn of Prophecy by David Eddings. It's the first book of the Belgariad, which I probably mainly hear about from um, um, Michael K. Bourne. Um, I think you know, the other, especially particularly, I'm I on this. I'm really on the peripheral of any fantasy channels, um, but I do follow a couple, and I think they mentioned this a few times. And then a few of my trash people few trash booktubers and stuff have definitely mentioned this as well. Um, published in 1982. Um, if you care about your authors being good people, do not read this book or do not ever look up David and Lee Eddings. But um, if you're able to separate the art from, art from uh, the people, then you'll be fine. Um, if not, and you still want to read the book, don't, don't look them up. Don't look them up. They're absolutely, absolutely insidious people. Um, but uh, I'm, I can, I can separate the, the art from the people, and I'm pretty sure they're both long dead. So um, they are not, they're not benefiting from me reading it. And I got it from fifty cents from a charity shop. So, um, and now. One, two, three, four, five. I got five books from the Little Free Library. It was a pretty pretty good one, actually. Um, I've not had a ton of success recently from the Little Free Libraries, but this was pretty decent. Um, so the first one, I know nothing about this book, actually. Um, M.G. Kincaid, last seen in Aberdeen, um, which is a Sergeant Mornay mystery. It's written by an American that I think has... Yes, yeah, she's American, but her mother was born and raised in Dalkeith. So she's visited um, Scotland a fair bit. I usually don't like to read books set in Scotland by people who aren't, like, who are, I'm going to say who aren't Scottish, but, um, but like, who haven't really lived in Scotland for a long, for a while. Like, I don't mind if someone wasn't, like, raised in Scotland, born and raised in Scotland or whatever, but, like, I do prefer if they've lived in Scotland when for a bit, for a fair bit at least, when they, they've really immersed themselves in um, Scottish, not so much Scottish culture, but just Scottish way of life. Um, but I think this one might be all right. I just, sometimes I feel like... Um, Scotland is overly romanticized. It's just, it's probably similar to how Irish people feel too, where especially people who have the ancestry, and and even 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 myself, like living in Canada now, I I, you, the more you're the more you're away from it, the more you forget the the rough edges, the wor the worse parts, um. And you tend to romanticize it a wee bit more, and I just I have a I have a bit of an issue with um, 
Scotland or any anywhere that I know really well, really, to be honest. I, I do have issues with it being super romanticized and and um I mean it's it's a murder book, right? so <coughs> it probably it probably isn't it probably is pretty good. In the sense that it isn't overly uh romanticized. So yeah, that's mainly why I give it a shot. But I I do want to read more books, at least in Scotland, but preferably by Scottish authors too. Um, this one's a great find actually. Vita Sackville West, all passion spent. This is one of her, her two, one of two of her favorite of uh, most um famous books. So the um people really know her for this book or for the Edwardians. Um, she was a contemporary. In, was it? Possible lover or actual lover? Like, I don't I can't remember if it was actually... Suspected lover of um, Virginia Woolf. And um, the presumed muse for Orlando. Um, yeah, so it's a little it's a little different from what I normally read. But um, I'm not... Uh, I'm not a stranger from... For literary fiction... British or English literary fiction from 1900s and 1950s. Definitely not a stranger to those. Um, back to the usual. Back to the usual uh, reading material, though. Alison McLean, The Way to Dusty Death. This is uh, Alison McLean, uh, thriller writer. Uh, this one I believe is from the 60s or 70s, but I might be wrong about that. I've not. I don't even have read any of that. my point. Yeah, I have a ton of his books, but I don't actually know if I've read any. Why is does there not? Why is there not? He's probably most famous for. Um, oh, he's probably famous for a few of these actually. Ice Station Zebra, which got, was that book which got made into a, a movie? The Guns of Navarone, which got, which got made into a movie. Um, maybe Where Eagles Dare. Maybe that's his most famous. That's probably what he's most famous for. Um, but that's the kind of, yeah, it's very much, very much, um, a high-paced thriller writer. I don't understand why there's not a, oh, maybe it's here. No. Oh, 1973. So I was right, 1970s. Yeah, so that's a pretty decent hardback cover with a dust jacket. Um, Lawrence Block, Hit and Run. Great, another... Really great condition, hard, hard cover with a dust jacket, and this was thrifted at some point, one a dollar twenty five. But I got it free because it's a free little library. Um, I've this was well, this was two thousand eight. I've tried to Lawrence Block. I haven't got along with him, but I know quite a few people who really like him that I respect. So I'm, I'm always whenever I see a Lawrence Block, I do tend to buy it to see. If I can just see what the attraction is, if, if, if there's any hope for me being more of a fan. I'm also, I am pretty much a crime completist too, so there's not really anyone that I wouldn't read at least once or twice. And like I said, I, I know so many people who like Lawrence that um, I want to just give him a really fair shout. And then Michael Connolly, Resurrection Walk. I've read a few Michael Connollys and really, it's a solid, it's a good solid crime thriller writer. Um, this is part of the Lincoln Lawyer series. And I think I only, did I read Lincoln Lawyer? I can't remember, definitely saw the movie with Matthew McConaughey though. Um, which I really enjoyed the movie. It was good. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I ever read the book. Have I read any other of the Lincoln Lawyer books? Maybe, maybe not. Check out my Goodreads. Pretty sure I've owned... Oh, no, I might have read a... I might have read... Um, I might have read a Michael Connolly pre-Goodreads, maybe? I'm trying to think now. But I think most of the stuff I've read is probably post my Goodreads, so check out my Goodreads if you're interested. Um, but yeah, solid. Pretty solid writer. Um, so he's famous for The Lincoln Lawyer and the Harry Bosch series. At this point, I don't know which one he's probably more famous for. 
I probably lean more towards the Harry Bosch just because they have that great, the great series and the Lincoln Lawyer movie is quite, it's like, oh, it's like, what, over a decade old now? Like 15 years old or something? So I think the Harry Bosch series is probably a little bit more, um, the TV series is a little bit more in people's minds. So there is that. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I think I held it together enough to post this video. Um, sorry for not posting in a while and not being in the best of moods. But like I said, BookTube has really helped me um, through this tough time. And uh, I'd just like to thank everybody who has a BookTube channel. Everybody who comments on um all book two channels, but especially anyone that comments on my channel, anyone that watches my channel, even if you don't comment, it's just you're all it's all very much an appreciation. Um it's all you're all you're all um I just like to say you're all in my eyes, you're all appreciated and, and regarded. And um yeah, I think doing this it's a hobby and it's an outlet, but it, it's 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 uh Finding it more, 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 more important as as the years go on to have um, a bit of companionship and solidarity with people who share um, a love of reading, and um, from there, like you can expand on friend friendship and and, and stuff too. Um, but yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm just waffling now at this point, so. You all have a good day. Um, I'll probably post like a tag video or something as well. Um, I'll see. I'll try maybe see if I can get a bunch of videos going to post throughout the week. I don't know. I, I never plan anything of this. So you all have a great uh, rest of your weekend and see you all later. Bye.